guys. Welcome to the Treasury Update Podcast Coffee Break Session, the show where we cover foundational treasury topics and questions in about the same amount of time it takes you to drink your coffee. This is your host, Alexa, joined today again with Craig Jeffrey, Managing Partner of Strategic Treasure. Welcome back, Craig. Good to be here, Alexa. So today we're going to jump into a couple more of the account topics. And today's topic is what are collection accounts? So Craig, what are collection accounts? There can be some different definitions, but for Treasury's purposes, a collection account is a, a bank account that's used and focused on the uh, collection of uh, receivables activity. So people pay your organization, they'll send it into some type of uh, collection account, uh, an account meant for receiving payments. Okay. So then what happens when, you know, these funds are in the collection account? Do they just sit there or, you know, do you maybe want to expand on what might happen next in a typical setup? Yeah. And I was trying to be brief, but I guess I was, <laughs> I was too brief. Um, yes. So in a concentration system where you have depository accounts or collection accounts, so uh, there's some slight differences there, but basically the same purpose of receiving funds, whether um whether they're called depository or collection accounts, money goes into those accounts through a lockbox, through a wire or some type of transfer. And then they're moved from that account to the concentration account, if you have a typical concentration structure, uh, as the funds become available, either uh, manually moved or moved through uh, a zero balance account structure or a standing transfer order of some kind. So yeah, you would want to convert those as quickly as you could to uh, you know, move those funds for use into your concentration system, because there might be some rights of return. Sometimes uh, uh, people will leave uh, some type of minimal balance in case some item returns, um, and uh, instead of having the account overdraw, uh, it'll it'll be managed that way. Okay, that makes sense. So I know in, when I asked, you know, what are collection accounts, you you gave sort of the treasury answer, but really in my head, I'm thinking of more of an accounts receivable. So are accounts receivable and collections, collection accounts the same or similar? Yeah. So, you know, so accounts receivable processes, all the processes, all the um, activity that comes into the the company, you've sent out invoices or if you've made, uh, uh, you've invoiced someone and their, their payments are coming in. And so that's the normal process of posting the receivables activity. You know, Treasury might call it collection uh, activity or, or depository activity or receivable activity. Um, there is a difference, of course, in the credit manager's world. The credit manager's world might talk about receivables. And when they talk about collections, they sometimes refer to, we're not getting paid. How do we go about the process of collecting when someone uh, can't or won't pay uh, in a timely manner or can't or won't pay at all? And so there's a collection process to protect the organization's rights and 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 get their receivable funds when, when the uh, payer is impaired or uh, not sufficiently motivated to make that payment. So that's where the term collection can mean something very serious uh, in the credit manager's world to uh, just common depository collection activity or receipt activity in the treasury uh, world. Okay. And then the next question even too, which is who typically man- manages these accounts, which I think you you did a, a good job of deciphering the differences. So it's really more of a depository or a receipt. And that activity is at an account level is managed more so by treasury, whereas the bookkeeping or the posting of that activity is handled more by AR. Yeah, but yeah, who manages the those bank accounts? Who manages the bank accounts that is almost always treasury or, or someone in the finance function there in terms of managing the uh, the receivable accounts, the detailed receivable accounts, that's going to be AR or a cash application area that manages that activity. And then there's a control function, which uh, is either done through a control accounts or through bank recon or subledger reconciliation, which might be done by the controllers group. Okay. Well, that really wraps up the questions that I had on the collection accounts. So let me just do a quick recap of everything, which was what are collection accounts? And again, those are treasury bank accounts used to focus on the collection of those receivables. Um, and then they're not 
specifically the same as accounts receivable and collections because really, like we've said, the AR is more of the processy and the treasury is more of the depository or the, the, the bank account managers there. Was there anything else you wanted to add? No, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for covering that. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining me today, Craig. And to all of our listeners, make sure you join back in every first and third Thursday of the month. And if you have any questions, comments, or topics you'd like us to cover, you can send us an email at podcast at strategic treasure.com. Thanks again, Craig. This podcast is provided for informational purposes only, and statements made by Strategic Treasure LLC on this podcast are not intended as legal, business, consulting, or tax advice. For more information, visit and bookmark strategictreasurer.com.